Hey guys, Kirk here from Kirk's Aquariums, bringing you guys yet another episode. Today's episode, I am back and I am going to explain where I have been for the last four months. So sit back, stay tuned, and enjoy the video. So, I'm back, it's been four months, do apologize once again for the lack of videos, but I thought I'd take this time today to show you guys and explain to you guys a little bit why I have been absent from making YouTube videos and the fish room for the last four months. So basically, the reason I've been away for the last four months is a few different factors. Um, one, I've had a, like a career change, like a job change. So I was working just a casual, um, not many hours at all, not much money at all coming in. I now have a full-time job again. I went and got my old full-time job back. Uh, two was I was uh, trying to depend on this fish room a little bit too much and not, I say depend, probably not the right word. Uh, I was trying to make more out of this fish room than what I needed to and what I was basically putting too much pressure on myself and putting too much pressure on myself in particularly on YouTube videos and the fish room to the point where I wasn't enjoying it anymore. I wasn't, I was losing the passion out of the hobby and it's really, really hard to continue to want to make videos for you guys and be in this fish room as much when the passion is sinking and I couldn't fix myself, I couldn't get out of this like bit of a you know hole that I dug myself and I basically took up a whole new hobby and that was growing plants outside and that was because I can now use the the old water from changing the water changes in the fish room to basically water my garden water my veggie patch and it's been making some fantastic results so fish water dirty fish water on your plants gives you amazing growth on your plants just in case any of you guys are gardeners or green thumbs on the channel but that's what my little other hobby is now so I had to get myself back in the fish room because it's been a while and I was basically just coming in here feeding the fish and just doing minimal water changes just to keep everything happy and healthy nothing's really been breeding though because without the the love and the care and the passion I should say it's really hard for the the conditions to be right and the everything to be in breeding mode so to speak so not much has been breeding we've had some guppies breeding we've had a couple of bristle nose breed and we've had a very very exciting for the first time only about a month ago i had my first batch of peppermint bristle nose after like two and a half three years of waiting finally first batch of peppermint bristle nose spawned and then two weeks after that i had another batch of peppermint bristle nose spawn so I'm really, really trying to condition them again now. I think I know what to do, and hopefully we'll get continuous batches of peppermint bristle nose because they're one of my favorite bristle nose. They look really, really cool. Haven't seen them before. I'll put them up on the screen for you as like adults so you can see what they look like. We also have some super red bristle nose that have spawned as well. They're in the fry tray still at the moment, and the lighting for the fry tray is really, really hard for my camera to to get you guys a good shot without it wanting to flicker. So once I move them out into a bit bigger grow out tanks, you guys will see the babies and stuff like that. But for now, it's basically just, everything is growing up nicely. I showed you guys last week or the week before in the other video that, in my last video, that I've got a few baby fish on the go. We're trying to grow up everything that we've got going. And what I'm gonna try and do is, I'm gonna start from scratch. So I'm gonna have a lot of space and that's gonna be so nice to have because I'm gonna really, really have a lot of empty tanks. And then I'm gonna dial in what I want to breed and what I think I should breed just for the fun of it. And we're just gonna play it like that rather than trying to breed heaps and heaps of angelfish or heaps and heaps of rainbow fish. We then run into in the problem of flooding the market. And then I have to basically hold on to all these fish and then I've got no room and it's just not enjoyable. So I'm gonna try and breed smaller amounts so I don't have to hold on to huge lots of the one type of fish, but more often and different types of fish. So it's gonna be a different type of thing. I am gonna make more videos. The videos are gonna come back regularly. As you can see, I've got a bit more passion going in me now. I've really got a bit of a fire under me and I'm back in the fish room, back and making videos for you guys. So I'm just really, really happy to be back. And I just wanted to quickly explain to you guys sort of where I've been just in a quick nutshell Basically, I burnt out, got back in, and now we're making videos again, and the fish room is really back up and pumping. It's just not gonna be full on like it was. I'm just not gonna be breeding hundreds and hundreds of angels or hundreds and hundreds of other fish. It's just gonna be a smaller batch of different heaps of fish, different heaps of fish, heaps of different fish. But for you guys, I'm hoping it's gonna be still fun. 
and hopefully you guys are still around to enjoy the journey with me because I'm still gonna try and make maybe not weekly videos but more regular videos hopefully once every two weeks or something like that I'm gonna really really try but I don't want to put pressure on myself because then I won't enjoy it. And I really want to make the videos because I enjoy making the videos for you guys, not because I feel I have to make the videos for you guys, if that makes sense. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I will be making another video soon. I'm gonna like do one big full fish room tour just to see, show you guys every single tank in the fish room at the moment. And then after that, we'll go back to like doing other things and I'll try and get back into breeding and I'll try and show you guys, if you're interested, let me know in the comments some of my plants outside the veggie garden and how I use the water and everything like that to water my plants from the fish room. So don't forget to hit this thumbs up button if you like the video. And like always guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm glad to be back. Sorry again, but thank you to everyone in my last video that commented with the support. You guys have been amazing and I will see you guys in the next video.